What up everyone? Hi, I'm Mitch. I have your daily stoic meditations, 366 meditations on wisdom, perseverance, and the art of living by Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hanselman. Today is April 3rd, 2021, and this one is titled Deceived and Divided. Circumstances are what deceive us. You must be discerning in them. We embrace evil before good. We desire the opposite of what we once desired. Our prayers are at war with our prayers and our plans with our plans. That comes from Seneca Moral Letters. A woman says she wants to meet a nice guy and get married, yet she spends all of her time around jerks. A man says that he wishes he could find a great job, but he hasn't actually bothered to do the looking. Business executives try to pursue two different strategies at the same time, straddling it's called, and they are shocked when they succeed at neither. All these people, just as is often true for us too, are deceived and divided. One hand is working against the other. As Martin Luther King Jr. once put it, there is something of a civil war going on within all our lives. A war inside each individual between the good parts of their soul and the bad parts. The Stoics say that war is usually a result of our conflicting desires, our screwed up judgments or biased thoughts. We don't stop and ask, okay, what do I really want? What am I actually after here? If we did, we'd notice the con con contrad uh, we'd notice the contradictory and inconsistent wishes that we have, and then we'd stop working against ourselves. This is really cool, and um, it just puts into perspective what are we doing? What do we find ourselves complaining about most? And what are we doing to fix it? Are we just sitting around in idle mode and complaining about it, yet not trying to make a difference? Because um, we could all make a difference and just thinking about it is not gonna change it. We have to actually commit to it. I find it's good to write things down and really see what it is that's bothering us and then you can try to figure it out and um, communicate about it. And you know, our lives are short. And if we're unhappy, we need to think of ourselves and it's not selfish. We need to think of ourselves and our own happiness because we have to live with ourselves forever. And if we find ourselves constantly miserable or things aren't changing the way we would like it to, we, we, we can give it a chance and we can work on it and all that. but. If, if you see that it's not ever changing, that's when you do have to do something about it because our happiness depends upon it. And um, I think it's good to think of our goals and what is it that we actually want? What are we trying to do? Do we hate our job? Do we hate our situations in life, but not doing anything about it? Um, so I, for one, know that I have to evaluate certain things and figure them out and find what's happy for me. And I know everyone else can do the same. And again, this life is very short and we wanna be happy. And I hope you guys got something good from that one. I know I did and have a good day. See you guys.